This is Calvin Kastein. It's September 27, 1997. We're at the Beekman Town Central School for CPAC Varsity Football. The Beekman Town Eagles today being visited by the El Sable Valley Patriots. Unfortunately, we don't have any radio play-by-play -play men here, so you're going to have to put up with, uh, with me. What we'll do is bring you the plays and very little, if any, chatter between the plays. So it's going to be a very abbreviated uh, Reader's Digest condensed version of a football game. We'll quickly give you the roster for the Eagles. They're coached by Mark Haley. Assistant uh, coach is Garth Frechette and also Pete Vila. Number 10 is James Himes. Brian DeForge is number 18. Nick Lucier is number 20. Billy Light is 21, Nikki Dar is 23, Jason Muller 24, Jeremy Renadette 25, Randy Sears is 32, Jason Birdo 33, Danielle Giles is number 34, Mike Bovier is 40, Eric Patnode is 44, Casey Brennan 45, Jason Renadette is 54, Tim Berry is number 55, Mike Loftus is 57, Josh Pellerin 60, James LaDuke 62, Joe Coakley 63, Joe Bashan, or no, it looks like Bashan, is 64. John Rigsby is 65. All right, continuing is Steve Shutt, 70. Joe Hayes, 71. Eric Svetz, Fenson, 72. Jason Hayes, 73. John Pitlack, 76. John Weaver, 80. John Martin, 81. Warren Lape Wayne Lapierre, 83. Jesse Ralph is 84. And Tom Rafferty, 85. Now, quickly for Osebo Valley. Head coach is Don Hoy, assisted by Chris Ford, Mike Maloney, and Russ Mulvey. Josh Sheely is number one. Corey Barton is two. Kellen Nolan is 10. Jason Ford, 11. Eric Zaron, 13. Lance Baker, 20. Jason Morrow, whereas number 21. Looks like they're heading back to their bench. Let's see, Chuck Hayward is 32. Mark Burrow is 33. Chad Roy, or Raw, is 34. Kenny Bazile, 42. Ian Smart is 44. David Hart, 50. Alan Winchell, 53. Morse Luckern is 55. Bill Wamet, 56. Aaron Klagas is 58. Steve Bola, 59. Chris Turnbull, 63. Mark Wells, 65. Joe Allen, 68. Chris Haley, 69. Keith Pelkey, 70. Nick Leon is 72. Chris Fisher is 73, Jesse Rogers 75, Trevor Devlin 79, Sean Labonte is number 81, and Ben Frazier is number 87. And those are the Patriots. Eagles are going to kick off to the pit, to the Patriots here. Beaten Town in red, although they're the home team. Visitors are wearing white today, and it's out of bounds right there. So it'll be a first and ten for the Patriots at their five-yard line, plus a little bit more. They try a run, and they're tackled right there at the line of scrimmage. I believe the, they said Tim Berry making the tackle on that one. So it'll be second, and just about the same. And the Patriots don't get any further on this one. 
Okay, we have a timeout for Beekman Town. I'm not sure why we have this early timeout. That was Bazile carrying that last play, and he was stopped right there at the line of scrimmage. All right, it'll be third and long. We'll see if they'll go to the air. Long count. There's the handoff. And right there, so it'll be fourth and... Uh, 10 plus, I guess. We're up here with uh, our good friend Doug Stevens, the winning pitcher of the Anderson's Insurance Softball Team, the B Division champions in the Adirondack League. We have a fourth and nine, we're being told. So here's a punt. Not very far. And. Oh, I don't know if that was touched. I don't think uh, Beatman Town touched that one, but uh, if you're not sure, grab it and run. What the heck? Doesn't uh, cost you anything to grab it and run, but the ball will go to Beatman Town. Well, the Eagles get it in beautiful position here, just barely past the 20 yard line, and they're coming close to the first down on the first play. Okay, Chad Roy making the tackle. Uh, I'll give you the ball carrier in a moment. He's got the ball again. He's got the first down plus. That was uh, Nick Lucier, his second, his second carry, and he's within the five. Chad Roy again making the tackle. The first and four for the Eagles. Just under nine minutes to go in the first period. There's the handoff. And he's right near the... The end zone, Lucier tackled right near the end zone, about one yard, I guess. Okay, they got the big guys in for the Eagles. Were they able to push through? Just a hair shy, the refs are saying. So it'll be third and inches. Third and inches for the Eagles. They'll try the same play, I guess. Here we go. Fumbled. Fumble Covered by the Eagles. Covered. Uh, so it'll be fourth and inches. Belly four. And did they hold? Looks like they stopped them. They stopped them for so a goal line stand by the Patriots, and they'll recover the ball. They've got the ball back. Okay, the Patriots have to worry about the safety. There's the handoff. Lozile gained a couple of feet in that play, and that's about it. Again, they have to worry about the safety. Quarterback keeps it, and he's going to break through. And uh, he'll gain about seven or eight yards. So the freshman quarterback, Kellen Nolan, gets to a third and one, and the Eagle defense is going to smother the Patriots. All right, Patriots are showing punt on the fourth and one. There's a the snap. It's low, it's up. And they'll gain a few this time. And we're going to have a return for a TD. Jason Muller, a 5'10 junior, scores for the Beacon and Down Eagles, and they take a 6 0 lead. All right, now for the extra point. Four forty-five on the clock, and they kick. It's up. It's good, and it's a seven-nothing lead for Beekman Town. All right, build on it. Build on it. All right, the Eagles will kick off. They've got a seven-nothing lead. Four forty-five to go in the 
first period. Oh, slips, and he's tackled. Corey Barton doing the uh, kickoff return. And uh, probably lost a yard on that one. It's a four-yard loss, second and 14 for the Patriots. Look out. Eric Zaran doing a little limbo there underneath the a line that keeps the crowd back. I think he gained the first yard in that play. Here's the first. He gained the first down. And there's another first down. And it's Zaran again. Okay, that was the second down play, so it's first and ten now, right to about the 40 yard line. Quarterback kept it. No one's tackled. There's the Alsable Valley taping crew over on that side. Over here with the Beekman Town taping crew. The, the one man crew, Doug Stevens. All right, second down. Quarterback kept it. No one. He gains a few. He's short by about uh, three and a half yards. They're calling a third and long two for the Patriots. At the two-minute mark in the first period. And they've got the first down. And they're still gaining. Forward motion and momentum. Well, now it's first and ten for Al Sable Valley. No one back. Puts it to the air. And it's incomplete. All right, it'll be second and ten. This time there is a handoff. Ow! A hard tackle. Corey Barton taken down by John, excuse me, John Weber on that play. And second and one. And we have whistles, flag. No flag, it's a timeout for the Patriots with 33 seconds to go in the first period. All right, timeout is over and we're set for the second and one. Or is it third and one? Maybe, yes, I guess it is third and one. And we're gonna have a first down here, trying to get more. But he got the first down. Once he saw he had the first down, he went to the outside, tried to get a, make it a long run. I believe that was Lance Baker carrying. Chance for one final play. First and ten. And didn't get far on that one. And the clock will tick out. And the first period is over. 7-0 Beacon Town. We have a second and about 12, and we have flags down. Come on. Bring them back. So now it's a second and about 17 or 18. Looks like there's movement or offsides, one or the other. And he's pushed out of bounds. It'll be third and 16, gain a yard or two on that. And uh, stop the clock. Fourth and seven, and uh, looks like they're going to go for the first down. They're going to put it to the air, or maybe not. And the Eagles make the tackle, and they'll get the ball. Leakman Town gets the ball just shy of their own 30-yard line. It's not. And the pitch out. And they got a first down. 
Billy Light gets the Eagles to the Beekman Town 43 yard line. So it'll be first and 10. And ball is fumbled. Run out. Second and 15. And again, maybe three. Clock keeps ticking. I have a correction. They may have lost a yard. It's third and 14, 15, 16, something like that. And it'll be fourth down. All right, set up for the punt. Play taking place, the snap taking place at the 40 yard line of Beatman Town. Well, the Patriots get it at their own 30 yard line. First down, 130. Well, Zion gets about six yards. Second and four for Ross Sable. They're trailing seven nothing in the second quarter. And they're not showing him any mercy. Third and just about three yards. And they've got the first down, but not much more. Okay, Baker taken down by Weber, or Weber, at the 46-yard line, first and 10 for the Patriots. Baker the ball carrier again that time. Second and nine. Incomplete, it's going to be called. Third and nine. Third and about eight and a half yards. At the 47-yard uh, line. To the air. And it's incomplete. All right, now fourth down, they're going to punt. It's off. Best punt of the day for the Patriots. Taking it out the 17 yard line. Oh, look at, oh they're saying he stepped out. They're saying he stepped out right there. How about that? So Jason Muller almost uh, went all the way, but he stepped out of bounds. And there's a gain for the Eagles on the first and ten. They get the first down. But wait. Flag on the play. Illegal block. Well, the Eagles will lose 15 yards on it. And I believe it's going to be still first down. So, first and 25. And they get back maybe eight, nine yards. Now, second and a long 16 for the Eagles. Third and 11 for Beacon Town at the Alsable Valley 43 yard line. All right, fourth down. Four, fourth and long, here's the punt. Takes a eagle bounce. Was it touched? I thought it was touched. I thought it was touched. I thought it hit his foot. The Eagles are arguing that, but it don't, doesn't look like, I don't know, we'll see. No, nope, they're saying I'll save a wall. Well, I hope a replay might have showed us uh, that 
ball was touched or not. The, didn't look like the Eagles thought so because they just didn't look for the look for the downing of the ball. The ball was fumbled and Patriots recover. Second and seven. 3.40 to go. Third down and about four for the Patriots. And Sable trailing this seven nothing. Pass is complete. The first shy of the first down. I stand corrected. And they got the first down by maybe a, a foot to spare. And there's a tackle. Second and 15. Well, that's third and about 11. And it's complete and a first down for the Patriots. Big play, minute 25. Clock is stopped for some reason. Sable Valley timeout. 125 to go in the half. 7-0 Beatman Town. Patriots have it about the, their own 43 yard, the 42 and a half yard line. Patriots first and 10. And maybe a yard or two. Now second and nine. One minute to go in the half. Complete. Patriots wasting little time. Third and maybe a yard or two. That's short. Okay, fourth and two. So they're going to punt. And then they're going to pull them with just a few seconds left, 30 some odd seconds left. Patriots say we're going to try it. Smart thing to do. So at their own 49, the Eagles will take over. 25 seconds left in the half. In the air, it's intercepted. Ben Frazier with the interception. First down, 18 seconds left. 18 to go in the half. Uh, run it, and that's it. That's clock should tick down. There's ten left. Well, the first half will end with the score. Beekman Town seven, and I'll see you Valley Central School. Nothing you're watching. CBAC varsity football on hometown cable. I'll see you Valley will kick off to start the second half. It's low. The 50 yard line, about the 45 of Fossebo. Nice return there by Nick Lucier. The first and 10. And a loss of about two or three yards. Kenny Bazayo making the tackle. Second and 13 or 14. It's pitch out. Third down, another pitch out, fumbled. Patriots recover. And looking at a possible touchdown. I don't see much happening here. It's gonna be a touchdown on the fumble. Eric Zaran makes it a 7-6 game. Here's the point after. And they fake the kick, going for the two. And they stop, so it's a 7-6 ball game. Patriots go for the two, and they're held, so it's a 7-6 game. Uh, Sable will kick off with 10.33 to go in the third quarter. This kick is high, it's wobbling, and it's caught. And taken down around the 32-yard line. 
couple of Gunga Deans here working hard on the Beekman Town side. First and ten for Beekman Town. And again, right around, maybe a hair short, we'll see. Second down, about two feet, a short one. And the Eagles will have the first down. This year gets the first down for Beaton Town, first and ten at the Beaton Town 46. First down at the Osceola Valley 35 yard line. Now second down, two yards to go. And stopped right there at the line of scrimmage. Gain of about a yard. It's third and one. And there's the first down for Beekman Town. Lucia will get it. I'd say the first down's about the 21, 22 yard line. Second and about eight and a half. That's third down and about 12. Here's the pitch out. It breaks the tackle. This year. After a Vietnam Town timeout, they decided to go for the two yards. So it's fourth and two. And it's going to be close. And they say it's a first down for Beekman Town. So Doug Stevens was right on the money. He guaranteed me the Eagles would get that one. So now it's first and 10, about the 12 yard line. And it's an Eagle touchdown. All right, Billy Light gets the goal for the touchdown, that is, for Beekman Town. 13-6, they lead as a flag down. Okay, call goes against Beekman Town, so they lose five. Here's the snap, here's the kick, it's up, it's good. And it's 14-6, Beekman Town. We have 4.46 to go in the third. Here's the kickoff. Skips. Oh, Corey Barton gets the Patriots to the 35. 4.37 to go in the third. Lance Baker comes up a yard short of the line of scrimmage, so it'll be second down and 11 for us able. They go to the air near the sideline. It's out of bounds. It stays 11 to go. Third down now. And picked off. Oh, it's, yes. Interception for Beekman Town. James Himes, a sophomore, comes up with the ball for Beekman Town. So it'll be first and 10. Short game, second nine at the uh, Sable 42. That's third and 16, clock ticking. But now it's fourth and very long. That's beyond the 50 yard line and we have a flag on a play. Call goes against Beatman Town, so they lose another five yards. Here's the snap. Here's the punt. It's off. And a fair catch was called. 137 to go in the third. And a game of maybe two or three in the first down. Second and eight. Patriots are near the, their own 30 yard line. Osher making the tackle, had a little bit of help from Barry on that one. Uh, 
Back to third and 13 now for Osable. 12 seconds to go in the third. Incomplete. Seven seconds to go. It'll be a punt situation here for the Patriots. And about the Beekman Town 49-yard line. Flag on the play, clipping against Beekman Town. Eagles get a 15-yard penalty, but it ends up actually being closer to 18 or 19 yards because the ball was not at the 45-yard line. Nice pass for the Eagles. The Eagles end up with a more than 15-yard penalty because the ball was probably a yard or so from the midfield and they backed it up to the 30. So, Eagles erase that with a long pass and Jason Muller receiver and they're within striking distance. They have a first and 10 at the Osable 38. Found an opening. Look out. He's all the way. We weren't expecting that. Doug got the better view than we did. Nice block. Beautiful block. I guess we have to anticipate uh, better than that. We got blocked out. We weren't in position. Muller with the partially deflected, but it goes up. It's good. Muller got that goal and now the uh, touchdown, excuse me, and now uh, extra point. And it's 21 to 6 in favor of Beekman Town. Eleven eighteen left in the game. Kickoff is deep in the Patriot area. And we get up to about the 30-yard line. 21-6 the score, first and 10 for the Patriots. Incomplete. Well, we got a second and 10. Go to the air again. And a reception. Flag on the play, Beaton Town's gonna lose and some more over here in the personal foul. And there he goes losing another 15. So Patriots will have first and ten. Nice reception there by Barton. And at the 25-yard line, here's a snap. They go to the air. And another great catch. Sean Labonte making the catch. Nice pass. There's the ball. There we go. And he stays in. There's a touchdown for the Patriots. Unfortunately, we don't have 14 in our book. That was a nice pass. And another nice play for the Patriots. Yeah, it's 21-12 with 10-21 to go in the game. Let's see if they'll go. Looks like they're going for the two. So it's going to stay 21-12 with 10-21 to go. So the missed two-point conversion. Patriots need the ball to score twice. They trail by nine. Because it was kicked out of bounds, the Patriots lose five and they kick it again. Oh, I'm going to try it again. Another five-yard loss. This one will stay in bounds. And Beatman Town should have taken the last kick. They're about two or three yards behind where they would have been. Gain of about five. 
second and six. Eagles keeping it on the ground. Clock's on their side. Third yard, about three, throw down about three and a half yards. Nine minutes to go in the game. And it's going to be fourth down for the Eagles. All right, on the kick. And the Patriots need to score a touchdown and a field goal to win this one. 8 12 to go. I'll say we'll be putting this ball in the air. They've had good luck in the air, plus they got to stop that clock on an incomplete. Second and about 15. Here's another loss. Third and long, third and about 28 yards for the Patriots. Take a Hail Mary pass for this one. Oh, what a great play that would have been. 6.27 to go. Patriots probably don't have much to lose here. Let's see if they'll punt. Yep. Not the 43 yard line. There's the pitch out. Gain of maybe two. Second down, seven or eight to go. And they pick up a few. Third and uh, maybe a foot. And it'll be a first down for Bigman Town. Okay. All right, first down about the 30-yard line. Uh, quarterback keeper. Second about eight. Clock ticking down toward the four-minute mark. Wide open. And another goal for touch, crispy touchdown. I've been doing too many, too many soccer games, but this is a touchdown for Beekman Town. Jason Muller has a point after. It's good. And seven more for the Beekman Town side. 28-12 the score. 3.48 left in the ball game. There's a kick. And tackle about the 43-yard line. Chad Roy with the return. And there's no 14 listed in the Osable program, and only one quarterback, so maybe Kellen Nolan is still the quarterback and changed jerseys for some reason. I don't see number 10 anywhere. There was nobody near where that ball landed. Second and 10. Nolan goes to the air. It's picked off. And six more for Beekman Town. Flag down on the play, I think. A Beekman Town clipping penalty nullifies uh, Muller's touchdown. So it'll be at the 30-yard line. And, oh, still alive, but a loss of about two, three yards. The play started at the 35-yard line. Second down, about 12. At the original line of scrimmage, third and ten. And there comes that TD for Beekman Town. Nick Dyer makes it 34-12. There's a point after attempt. It's good. 35-12 the score. Beekman Town a minute 53 away from picking up their first win of 1997. Beautiful kick. And nice return for the Patriots. Uh, for some reason, Beekman Town needed a timeout. And I'll say, well, conceding the, the score, I'm going to keep it on the ground. 
about a minute five to go now. I'll say well knows they're not gonna be able to score enough in this game to win it, so they're just gonna keep it on the ground, let the clock run. Now Sable gets the first and ten here at the uh, there's the ball here. We're looking at the yard line and we lost track of the ball. We glanced up to see where we were on the field and the ball was snapped and by the time I came back, the ball was out of the picture. 30 seconds to go. No one back in the air. Oh, got a shoelace. First and 10 at the 27 yard line. 12 seconds. Should be the last play of the game. Incomplete, it'll stop the clock with three on it. Two seconds to go. Patriots will go for the three. And it's no good. 35-12 will be the final. Beatman Town defeats all Sable Valley, and that's the way it was on this September 27, 1997 at Beatman Town Central School in beautiful downtown Beatman Town.